Happy New Year, guys. It's 2018 right now. It, I can't believe it's 2018 already. It's absolutely mind-boggling right now. It's absolutely mind-boggling for me. You know what? I'm just going to show you the day it is right now today. It's 2018. I will show you right now. So, let's just get my video ready. As you can see, I'm using my phone right now. I'm just going to show you right now. So, here it is. Here it is. 20... Oh, uh... Uh, guys, 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 I, I, I can, ex I can explain, I can, I, I can explain, right, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna turn it off, I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna explain, so, <sighs> okay, you caught me, I am two days behind, <laughs> well, not two days behind, I'm two days before the new year, I know, I'm, I can't believe this is, <laughs> it's just so bad, but basically, I plan to record this uh, two days before 2018 so that I have time to edit it and then upload it on the actual day. So that's pretty much why I'm making this video um, two days before. I, like, I'm still, I'm still mind blown that, okay, I'm still mind blown that it's nearly 2017 from 2017. I'm still completely mind blown that it's Two th nearly 2018 for me, but for you guys it's already 2018 because of this damn video, but yeah, I can't believe it's 2018 already, it's just, time goes very, very quickly when you're having fun, right? Right? Yeah, I guess so. Basically, it's been a while since I've properly recorded a, uh, video because like well the past week that you've been uh, seeing is just me you know editing video well I, I, all you've seen is just me uploading videos well, double up uh, double videos each day for the past freaking week and god was that one of the biggest struggles ever it was so much of a struggle i got so stressed out that like um Every, like, when I wake up in the morning, I have to, like, go on my laptop to, like, edit this or render it or upload it. It's just, like, it's just, like, a set pattern that I created for myself. I have to do this, then I do that, then once this is done, I then do this, then I do that. Once this is done, I then do this, do that. I created a set p a pattern for me, and, well, I didn't want it to die. I, I, it's, I set a deadline for myself, basically, a deadline for, like, before... Um, New Year's that I upload every single video, then I take a little tiny, tiny bit of a break from uploading the video on the day, but, right, oh my god, this is just so difficult for me somehow, I don't even know how, anyway, yesterday, there was no video, but the day before, there was two videos, and then the day before that, there was two videos, so, I basically wanted to take, um, a break from uploading for a day, even though I'm gonna still be editing on that same day, this video. F f this is so hard to explain. <laughs> oh my god. Let me just make things clearer for you guys. We'll try to anyway. So, um, at the time of recording this video right now, I just I'm in the process of actually uploading my last video for 2017, which is the Resident Evil 7's Not a Hero DLC, the third episode and the final part for that playthrough. So that is the last video of 2017, and I chose to do like a day's break of you guys watching my content because I've been up uploading two videos each day f for pretty much an entire week because the double upload started happening on Sunday. Sunday, wait, uh, which day was Sunday? Sunday the 24th of December. I started doing my double upload from then and finished on Friday uh, the 30th of December. So, actually, that was... I was five days. I actually did it within five days. I actually did double uploads within five days. That's pretty much an entire week. An entire week of double uploads. That's insane, dude. Oh my god. Anyway. 
anyway, 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 I am now, uh, well, I'm, I say I'm back to, uh, video content creating. I've been doing that for a long, 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 long time, but I'm back to, like, just recording what I want to do, and, I, honestly, I've already recorded some videos for after the new year, for, for after today, which includes Life is Strange, Friday the 13th, the game, Emily wants to play 2, and Frosty Nights, but, due to how stressed I've been, and how tired I've actually been feeling, and, um, yeah, yeah, due to them things, I'm literally so stressed and tired that I can't even think of the things right now, but due to them things, the stress and the tiredness, I'm thinking about actually just taking a break from recording and editing after New Year's Day, which is today for you guys, but for me, two days from now. So yeah, I'm thinking about taking a break because, well, I haven't had a proper break and I need to, like, do things I've been wanting to do for, like, weeks now and haven't been able to do it because I set myself deadlines, which I shouldn't have done, but I did anyway because, well, I'm my SLT. I say that as if it actually means something, but it actually doesn't, damn it. Now, as you just, um, realised, well, you probably didn't just realise, but you... As you see... <laughs> as you see, I have my, uh, brand new mic, and not only a brand new mic, but a brand new, um, what do you call it, uh, mic stand. Yeah, this is a brand new one. The other one, um, I'll actually show you my other one. So this, um... First of all, this is actually my old microphone, which is the Blue Yeti. <laughs> Yeti. Blue Yeti. Yeah, that's right. Blue Yeti. And um, it's uh, quite... Uh, it's a good microphone if you're starting out. It's okay sound quality. Maybe not the best quality. But um, if you want the best quality out of the microphone, then your best bet is to have la -da 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 -da, a pop filter, which goes like I'll show you, which goes just like over the top. So yeah, pop filter helps out hugely um, with microphones, but I do not need one currently for this one because I read the instructions and it actually has a built-in pop filter, so I don't need to worry about the pops and pop 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 pops and. S's and other things that come with pops. Now, yes, the intention at last, yeah? Here is uh, my mic stand. Actually, uh, uh, um, actually, I'm just gonna like do this because why not? So I'm gonna have it like that instead. So much better. But yeah, this is my mic stand and this clamps onto the desktop, desktop, de desk somewhere. This is where I put the mic on and I'll, sh I'll just show you. So yeah, this is the mic and uh, I'll just show you right now, mic goes right on top there. Don't get any ideas, please. Yeah, it goes right on top, and, like, sometimes it, like, it can wobble because I've actually broken the micro- uh, the, the microphone. I've broken the, the, uh, mic stand. Because, rem remember, uh, when I did, like, my first Resident Evil 7 Let's Play, and when I did other Let's Plays, when I had, uh, this, um mic stand upside down no no i had not have the mic stand upside down i had the microphone upside down like this yeah as you can see you can you can probably like picture it right now yeah i had it upside down and i, I always had the feeling that it would fall like like, like 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 that see i always had the feeling that it would fall but well it never fell but it now does so that's why i got a brand new um mic stand brand new mic and brand new um mic holder thing, if you can even call it that. And I have to put the microphone up to my mouth, otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear me correctly, because if I, if I had it over here, <laughs> it knocks into something, um, you probably won't even be able to hear me. But if I had it over here, you can hear me, like, straight off the bat, so, yeah. Now, yes, obviously, you can see it um, with the uh, camera quality i'm back to my old camera which is actually um if i take <laughs> another video of it it is the 
uh, Panasonic one. I'll just show you. I know that you're seeing the iPhone camera in that camera, which is kind of weird. But yeah, it's the uh, Panasonic one, as you can see over there. You can see Panasonic, and it's the um, SD uh, H40 HDD. I mean, you know all this st uh, stuff, don't you? I hope you do. So, yeah, that's the um, camera that I'm uh, using now to record my face in, which I will c uh, always use unless I get a better camera and a better PC. Because when I uh, use my iPhone to record my face with and to edit on my software on my computer, the computer couldn't handle it because it was actually a huge file size and huge quality camera. So... Huge quality camera, huge quality video quality thing. The uh, PC wasn't able to handle it, so if I'm able to get a brand new PC in the future, I will be able to maybe record with the iPhone camera again, unless I get a better camera, which I really hope I do in the future at some point. Oh yes, uh, you may not see a difference, but um, this is actually one of my old um, camera angles and positions where like, do you remember when I first played uh, Hello Neighbor um, Alpha 2? <coughs> I had that camera in a certain position and <clears throat> sort of angle towards my face. And currently, you're on top of like the tripod. You, you're not actually on top. You're not actually on top of a tripod. You're on top of boxes that I had stacked on top to make a tripod, which actually isn't the tripod, but it works anyway. So yeah. Now what I was trying to say was, um, my camera is currently not behind uh, uh, my laptop. It's actually to the left of it. My laptop is actually over here, not there. So that's why it's a different position now, and I'm gonna keep it this way for a while because I don't know. I'm getting a little bit bored with how my camera is like just literally right behind my PC and I can just do this, look up, and I can see my camera's like, hello world, how is everyone doing? I sound like a robot, didn't I? Or something like that, I don't actually know. I wanted to, I wanted to make it look like I'm actually looking at my um, computer screen. I know that it does look like I'm looking at my computer screen if I had the camera facing me and the, this is so hard to explain, isn't it? Well, it may not be hard to explain for you guys, but it definitely is for me. And it's a rouge truck. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. And yes, guys, another thing that you see differently, kind of, yeah, I don't know, really. The green screen is back. I don't know if I'm going to key it out or try to key it out. If it looks keyed out, then don't worry about it. You don't worry about it. You don't worry about it. Um, the reason why it's key, uh, the reason why it's... Possibly keyed out is because well I love green screen and I just love the background taken out. I love taking out the green background to replace it with other background, which is what I meant to say. So yeah, I'm back with green screen now because well, the dark. Why do I call it dark screen? The blue screen made it seem like my channel was getting a little bit more darker. Even though I'm Telsey. Nah, I'm joking. Um, I don't want to have the blue screen anymore because <clears throat> it was a little bit difficult to actually make out with me <laughs> it was difficult to make out uh, where uh, like what, what, what uh, I, I don't know why I don't I just don't like the bl a blue screen I just I like green just like I like the green arrow if you don't know what that TV show is about then go look us up also guys um I am hopefully now back with editing with uh, Premiere Pro. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, yeah, I'm back to editing with Adobe Premiere Pro, and I think the reason why I stopped editing with it was because it kept on freezing or something. Maybe I don't know. Um, but I'm hopefully going to be coming back to Premiere Pro because another topic that I wanted to talk about, but I'm going to just include it with the Premiere Pro topic that I'm talking about right now. The reason why I want to go back to editing with Premiere Pro is because it it seems easier in ways. Even though so, even though my current editing software, which is uh, Sony Vegas Pro, the, uh, Sony Vegas Pro basically, it's because even though Sony Vegas Pro, I find it easier to edit the stuff because I've been using it for basically two years. Yeah, two years. 
or two and a half years, yeah, that's it, two and a half years, um, I think I like uh, Premiere Pro because it's, like, easier, and it's, like, smoother as well, like, the, the editing is, like, so much better, and I've tried it before, it was so much fun, you can even do so much more with Premiere Pro than you could already do with Sony Vegas Pro, and I just love that so much, so I'm gonna go, that's why I want to go back to editing with Premiere Pro, if it does freeze, then I'll just heat it up, mm, just heat up, you know, this. <laughs> what am I saying? If the video or like if the software does freeze when I'm editing, then I will just either re-edit it or um. Well, I'll I'll I'll, I'll think of something if it does freeze. I'll just get my cold gun out. Wait, if something's frozen, I'll just get my cold gun out. That'll make it even more frozen. <laughs> just let it go. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. I can't take it anymore. Let it go. Let it go. This is going to be the death of me. Just in case any of you were wondering, um, I've actually... Uh, recording, um, recording, uh, <laughs> sorry, I was burp, um, I've actually recorded some footage of a before and after scene of, uh, me showing you my setup before I start recording, no, no, look, I, I show you a setup of when I'm not recording, and then show you a setup of when I am recording, so, if you guys want to see that, yeah, um, I'll show it to you right now. So guys, this is what my room looks like when um, I am not recording. So, yeah, just looks like this. Uh, normal type of room, lamp and uh, green screen there, my laptop, chair, whatever, yeah. It's all good in the hair, then you know. But, in a minute, I'm going to show you what it looks like when I am recording. So, um, here we go, and voila. Yes. This is what it looks like when I am recording. So, X. So, as you can see, things have changed. The green screen is now over here, so that you can only see the green screen behind me. And this is uh, my microphone. The uh, uh, the Bluetooth. Can it like focus on that, please? Uh, come on. Yeah, the blue Yeti. I'm not sure if you. Yeah, I think you can see it. The blue Yeti. And yes, my computer is right there. Can you get him to focus, please? Come on. Seriously? Can I get to focus? Come on. Oh my god. Okay, I think the thing has gone, gone back into focus, but yeah, as you can see, the lights on either side, so that you can see both of my face, both of my faces, both of, well, both sides of my face, you know, lighted up. And also, you can see my camera right there. The tripod is basically books and something else on top. Yeah, like that. And I've got the, uh, I've got like a wooden type of thing. I don't know, even know what to call it. It's like a crossing. It's part of like another wooden thing that I've got. And I just use that to angle my camera up so that you could probably see me. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. My uh, headphones are down here. You can sort of see my headphones. Not really, but yeah. So yeah, that's uh, my setup in the light. But of course... Let's just uh, see what it looks like in the dark. So, let's just uh, do this and uh, let's just see it. So yeah, not much difference, but yeah, this is what it looks like in the dark. I mean, it's still lighted because of the lamps, but yeah, this is literally what it looks like in the dark. But yeah, if I uh, do this again, as you can see, the light is now back on. So yeah, uh, this is my uh, sort of, it's sort of like a setup tour, not much of one though, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed uh, what it looks like, like behind the scenes, I guess. Yeah, so thanks for watching this part of the uh, video, and I'll uh, give you back to uh, the main part of the video. So hopefully that was enjoyable for you, because if it wasn't, then where the heck is my gun? Okay, 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 uh, Editor Luke, Editor Luke, Editor Luke, can you please cut that out, please? No, well, why, why am I talking to you guys when I'm talking to... Editor Luke. Luke, Luke. Can you please cut that out? Seriously, you won't cut it out? Why? 
you, you want them to think I'm not a C-ish. Because that's really, really disrespectful of me. Of you. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, like, you know, indicating that I am the editor. Because I'm not. I'm the recorder. I'm, I'm the show presenter. Because I'm presenting you the ch show. I'm the, I'm the host. <laughs> Has anyone told you I'm such a bad actor? <laughs> Because I keep telling myself that every single day, and I don't think it's any truer than it already is. Anyway, um, right, yeah. Going back to, um, uh, this video. <sighs> what was I talking about? Because I don't, I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, I was, I've got my notes right here, though. Ah, yes. Next to my topic list, 2017 review. What that basically means, um, I'm going to be reviewing, uh, my content over the year of 2017. Now, um, I, I would show you, like, my screen. I, I think I might. I don't know. I think I might bring up a recorder and show you my screen, maybe. You know what? Why the heck not? So, guys, here is my, uh, 2017 videos. As you can see, this, uh, these videos were, like, 11 months ago. This is absolutely insane, dude. Like... Hello Neighbor, Alpha 3, The Park Man, Hello Neighbor, Resident Evil, that, yeah, my brother playing that, Clone Drone in the Danger Zone, I remember that game, oh my god, I remember playing that game, and I actually still have the game on my uh, computer, I just don't play it, uh, Five Nights at Games, Five Nights at Copies, man, what other videos, Title Tale, Reactionist, well, not Reactionist, but you know. Oh my god, I remember Game of Three as well. I should have missed doing all of this. Even Emily wants to play. Oh yeah, Emily wants to play too, as I said, will be on the channel very, very soon. But I, I missed doing all of this stuff, guys. Resident Evil. Like, just uh, playing games because I just enjoy them. And now I just play them because, you know, Xbox One games and stuff like that. Because they're out and Hell and Neighbor because of the story. I think I, um... I used to play games because, um, like, they're fun to play, and, like, I enjoyed the story and what happens in the game. Now, I think it's just that, I don't know, I, I think I've changed the way I, uh, play games now, I'm not sure. Alphabet Lane, you laugh, you lose, God damn it, Peter Pie does way too much for that. The Joy of Creation. I actually missed that game already, surprisingly enough. Mr. President, yeah, honestly, I did not enjoy that game at all. I actually um, refunded the game I because, I because I paid for the game, and I refunded it on the exact same day because it was so damn crap, even though I played, like, a lot of it. Finding Bigfoot, um, Finding Bigfoot was a, an astonishing game that I played because Bigfoot um, was like a huge part of my life before because I used to think that he actually existed in GTA San Andreas if any of you remember that game I used to think he actually existed because um, you would see him in like Shady Creek I think the name is or uh, Mount Massive no not Mount Massive Mount Something I uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's so long ago, man. I remember him being a mod, actually, not actually being a part of the game, but being a mod. SCP 087. Oh yeah, SCP 087. That's not the actual SCP 087 B game staircase game SCP game thing. It's not the actual game. It's actually a remake. Who was created by Next Gen Gaming Studio, who I don't actually talk to anymore. Unfortunately and sadly. And here's another game, Valley. Yeah, I, I did like, I think two or three episodes on Valley, didn't I? And then stopped playing it because like, it had no meaning. I didn't find any meaning in it. So I just stopped playing it and just had no fun with it. And also you see this video on my video timeline. Door.wmv. Basically, the whole story behind that, or the whole meaning behind that, was that like I saw like all these deep web or dark web videos, or like um like very very creepy videos <coughs> that didn't make any sense and paranormal things happening in, in the videos, and I thought to myself, maybe I could create one of them of mine. Cre create 
one of them myself. And I tried to, and well, I think I succeeded. Even though I kind of said to people that, oh, I found some like um, lost footage that I recovered from one of my cameras, which was just a blatant lie, just to make it sound even more creepy. Then I did try to get scared. Then I did stories untold, the house abandoned. Now that story, um, uh. Stories Untold The House Abandoned was an amazing dialogue story where like the whole game just was about like typing and dialogue. If you don't know what dialogue it is, it's basically text. What you see on the screen and what you can read is text, dialogue. So it was just all about dialogue but um, there was other additions to the game or like other... Well there was other chapters because that was chapter 1 there was chapter 2, then there was chapter 3, I tried to play chapter 2, and I didn't get very far, and it, chapter 2 wasn't that good actually, so I didn't upload the video at all. Yeah, just a lot of a lot of these videos in 2017, including Bendy and the Ink Machine, how many, didn't I do like a Bendy and the Ink Machine, uh, somewhere down here, oh yes I did, Hello Neighbor meets Disney Animation. It's sort of like Hello Neighbor, isn't it? Because the character walks like Hello Neighbor in Benny and the Ink Machine, and Disney Animation, well, it's set around that time. So that's why I named the title that. And don't go with the flow. It rhymed. Good name. Now, this was one of my scariest videos by far, I think. I don't actually know, really. Um, don't play this scary game too scary. But, um,. The thing that I played in the beginning of that video was called Don't Play This Game. <laughs> and I just realized I put in the title Don't Play This Game, which gives away the actual game that I played in the beginning of the, of the video, Don't Play This Game. Wow. Then I played At Last 2. Then I continued with SCP Containment Breach. Uh, played more of Hello Neighbor and got to um, meet the Shadow Kid. Played more of Tata Tail. Actually, the return of Tata Tail, should I say. Um, fear of Clowns. I never got to play that again because I, well, I've got too much fear of clowns. Um, I got to play Prey, the demo. I don't know if I will ever play the actual full game of Prey because it, it reminds me of Alien Isolation. And Alien Isolation was an amazing game and I'll. I would like to play again, but no, I would like to play Prey, not Alien Isolation, even though playing Alien Isolation would be cool, but you know, yeah. Little Nightmares was an awesome game this year. Friday the 13th, which will be coming, uh, which will also be coming soon, this year of 2018 as well. But Friday the 13th, how it started wasn't really that good in my opinion. It did get, it did gradually get better, but in my opinion, it wasn't really getting better because I didn't like the whole multiplayer thing. I prefer single player, multiplayer, if I had friends, which I don't, sadly. If I actually had friends or if I just wanted to play with other people and make friends or something, I would play multiplayer and record it. Um, but other than that, I prefer single player and I'm just waiting for them to do like a single player mode for me to actually record videos on it. And then, oh, I need to see it, don't you? The channel trailer version 2. Yeah. God. Like, making the channel trailer videos were probably the most fun type of videos I've had in a long, long time time it's just absolutely unbelievable i was playing fallout 4 but mm, fallout 4 um fallout 4 is a type of game where you can still you can make a let's play on it like a playthrough on it but uh you, you don't have to do it every single day because it's a long long playthrough and you can do it for however long you want so that's why i stopped playing it and plus the game's allowance basically ran out and you can see 10 most disturbing TV ad commercials. Yeah, I'm not going to show you that. Then there's Precipice. Precipice is a PT... Uh, what's it called? Pre pre uh, PT... Spiritual, a spiritual successor to PT, even though that's what either Visage is or Alison Road should be. 
but <clears throat> Precipice is like the uh, PC version of PT, and OMFG was it absolutely fantastic. Then came the full version of the Joy of Creation um, story mode, and that was still an amazing game. It had an amazing story and an amazing plot twist which was creation, the joy of creation. Uh, we had Life is Strange, which was the actual original Life is Strange. The original Life is Strange, I, I, I want to play episode 2 of the original Life is Strange because I've been so held up by playing Life is Strange before the storm, which is still really, really good. I won't say that it's bad. It's really, really good still, but I, wanna do, I, I do want to play and try out uh, episode 2 of Life is Strange. And... I did play uh, Mono Chapter 2. Mono is a, a game made by Jelly Liam, who also made Final Nights, like Final Nights 4. I never played it again because, like, it was just repeating, as it says in the title. Why is it repeating? No idea why. Sally Face. Oh my god, I literally cannot wait until episode 3 of Sally Face, because episode 1 and 2 were absolutely fantastic. Uh, I don't, it doesn't matter if not many people watched it, I enjoyed it so much. I don't even know if you could notice if I enjoyed Sally Face, but I enjoyed it so much, it's unreal. And I would go back to Sally Face if there was like anything new, but um, the alternative to Sally Face, the game that is just like it, is Fran Bow, which I am going to be replaying very, very soon. Well, not replaying, I'm replaying the beginning because I didn't actually finish the game, so yeah, I'm gonna be playing Fran Bow soon, hopefully. Really, 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 I really hope I do. Then we've got Life is Strange Before the Storm. Absolutely fantastic. And then we've got these videos like Clown House Pacific, a short um, horror game, short pixelated horror game. Like those videos, I actually enjoyed because I don't, I didn't need to put much editing in it because. Well, they're short horror games, and, like, they can easily get views, even though they don't get many views. Then we had Fredbear and Friends Reboot. And this is where my trouble begins. There have been updates, many updates to Fredbear and Friends Reboot, including the full game itself. I have downloaded the full game, just waiting for the right time to play it, honestly. But I want to have a break first before playing it, so that I actually have fun playing it and editing it and stuff like that because I've been waiting to play these games that I've missed over the time that I've been recording and editing and uploading videos that, like, that should have been edited, that should have been uploaded before. Then came October, which was my month, pretty much. <sighs> yeah, my month. Because that was the start of Telsey, as you can see, follow me. The start of Telsey, pretty much. Well, Telsey started before then, but that was a, that was the real form of Telsey. Then, um, Telsey continued over there. Pop Goes, um, Benny and the Ink Machine Chapter 3. Benny and the Ink Machine Chapter 3, uh, wasn't really my favourite one. Chapter 1 and 2 were, well, Chapter 2 was my favourite one by far. Chapter 3 wasn't my favourite one, honestly. I don't know why, I'm still trying to figure it out. Then came, like, one of my favourite series, The Evil Within 2, even though it took so long to upload and edit and stuff like that, and I was, I, I enjoyed it so much, then I was starting to enjoy, enjoy it a little bit less. Editing it, not recording it, no. Like, playing it and recording it, yeah, was enjoyable so much, it wouldn't end to the end of the game. But editing it wasn't, uh, wasn't really fun at the time. At the, <clears throat> um, then came the Hello Neighbor Halloween trailer. Yeah, we're, we're going into, um, this month, which is November, or, actually no, December? Or is it November? A month ago, so, November, yeah, November. So yeah, I then switched to the iPhone SE camera and did a lot of videos on it and I thought that I could fight the um, the problem where the camera just stutters for no reason. Like, like a game 
where like frame rate drops from 30 fps to 15 fps or 10 fps where it just slows down then speeds back up that's what my iphone camera did it stuttered for some reason and i'm not sure why and that's why i'm back to this um old camera camera quality thing so that i can enjoy videos how they were before and how i want them to be and then look simulacra simulacra was by far the like one of my most favorite series like this year honestly or no sorry, my most favorite series from october to december because like simulacra was like another found phone horror footage thing and the ending just shocked me so much if you haven't seen the ending to simulacra <clears throat> you have to it is so awesome you are it's unreal it's absolutely unreal then came five nights at freddy's pizzeria simulator or five nights at freddy's six i'm thinking about um, replaying it and seeing if I can actually beat night three and just continue on because the the nights are exactly exactly the same and it requires so much concentration so yeah I might go back to the game I'm not sure yet and then came the full version of Hello Neighbor which shook me completely and yeah the supermarket did trigger me and yeah this is it 2017 my whole video is for 2017. It's been an absolute blast creating content for you throughout the entire year. It's been an absolute blast, guys. You have no idea. But I enjoyed every single moment of it. I know that I have, like, um, ranted or, like, uh, I have said about being peed off about, like, subscribers and views. That's because... For some reason, it sort of made my heart, uh, it disheartened me. Basically, it made my passion go down. But no, 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 that's, that's not true. Because, because I had a go at people who, like, uh, weren't viewing my videos or who were subscribed but weren't active. Because I, because some of you may have felt like I have had a go at you. I, I apologize for anyone that feels like I have had a go at them because of not watching my content. It's completely up to you if you want to watch my content. You're the person who's watching. You don't have to watch it if you don't want it. If you enjoy it, then you can stay and watch more of it. If you don't like it, you can just go and not watch any more of it. But I apologize if I did run to about it at you. It's just, I think it's because I let YouTube get to my head. And because of that, I like cared so much about views and subscribers but i lost what i cared about most and that's the passion for creating videos just for like um the experience to be shared online on the internet on youtube i lost that passion and i want to bring that back to myself and to you guys as well and that's what i hope to do this year and i hope that this year is much much better for all of us, not just me, just um, um, but for all of us combined. So that is it of my uh, 2017 review thing. It's not much of a, rev uh, it's not much of a review. It's just me just talking about my uh, videos that I've done over the year and discussing them to you guys. And if that's not a review, I'll probably make another review in the future, maybe, I don't know, yeah, I don't know, Ugh. But yeah, another thing I wanted to say was, um, I am not going to put a deadline on my video making anymore. No time frames, no schedules, no, well, maybe a schedule. No, no schedules, no deadlines. If, um, there is a video that I am going to be putting out, I will make sure that you guys on Twitter know about it first and then upload it, okay? That's all I'm going to say because no more schedules, no more deadlines because they've stressed me out too much as it is and I just want all of that to stop. So, I apologize if this video is a bit too long for you, too long for your taste, but I wanted to cover so much stuff in this video, it's unreal, but 
I hope you have all enjoyed this video. I'm not going to put too much entertaining into it, otherwise it probably won't even go out on New Year's Day, which I'm really, really hoping it would, and I'm intending that it would. Inten My intention is that it would go out on New Year's Day. Now, um, I think I've already explained to you the reason why I'm not using a... Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to use Sony Vegas Pro to edit my videos anymore. I'm going to use Premiere Pro. Um, yeah, the reason why is because I'm not having fun um, editing with Sony Vegas Pro anymore. Because, like, the animating that I've been having to do with the face cam is just annoying. How I have to, like, put dots in one place, then another dot, then another dot, then another dot. You you probably want to understand it. It's sort of keyframes in, in animation. If you've done animation, yeah. You probably understand, but other than that, if you haven't done keyframes in animation, you might not understand, and I apologise if that can be quite um, a struggle for you to understand. I'm finding Sony Vegas Pro not fun that much anymore because um, if I even if I make one mistake and I do Control Z to undo that mistake, um, I have to pretty much um, reload the video file um into the editing software if you know what i'm talking about then uh, you may have the same problem but if you don't know what i'm talking about then that's completely fine because it's actually quite a bit to explain if you if i if you don't edit things in a software so i completely understand that but I'm just explaining to you why I'm not going to use Sony Vegas Pro anymore, unless I do go back to it in sometime in the future, which I and um, which I'm, which I highly doubt. Another thing I wanted to talk about is uh, dislikes on my recent videos, because like yeah, I know that like um people may hate my videos or not like my videos for certain reasons or something, but like. These dislikes were, like, f four in a row. And one of the videos, two dislikes. Like, I wasn't expecting that. I'm actually quite shocked about that. I mean, like, it doesn't, like, uh, reduce my passion for YouTube, obviously. But I'm just, like, shocked about how many dislikes I've had on my recent videos. Quite surprising. Even on my Merry Christmas one and my Thank You video. Like, I've just never known a video about Christmas to be disliked on my channel or on any channel. It's like so shocking because you, you've seen the, uh, the images come up on the screen, haven't you, about them. I'm just so shocked about how like a Christmas video gets disliked. Who, da who does that? Well, maybe someone does, but I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I think that covers that. I, I, think that, I think I've covered everything for this video. Um, my next topic is overall support. So, yeah, I'm just going to thank you for your support over the year. I've had so much support from um, my friends who have um, guided me along the way through YouTube. Friends that, like, um, I don't talk... Well, I do talk to them still. Just some of them I don't talk to anymore. Some of them, but not all of them. And, um... If anyone recognises this name with the initials HH and one of them being uh, the opposite gender of me, yeah, um, that person is a friend of mine and, like, the way we talk and the way, like, we help each other through life and YouTube is just absolutely astonishing. I'm not going to give any names away because that would probably make things cringy and... I don't know. But just overall, thank you so much for the support, everyone. It's been... A blast. A blast of a year. Can we make 2018 the best year ever? Are we able to do that? If we are, you will be the best dudes on the planet. And I mean that. So thank you everybody so much for watching this video. I hope you're having an amazing New Year's Day currently. Um, I probably am when it's New Year's Day for me, <laughs> because it's not today, but I hope I am having a wonderful New Year's Day. Actually, I'll let you know how I'm doing on that day, today, not today for me, which is confusing still, I'm so sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, I will let you know how I'm doing on New Year's Day, which is today for you guys, but, but not 
for me today. Um, yeah, I'll let you know. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. That is going to be everyone. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then leave this down below. You see what this means, don't you? Leave this down below. You see the, the button, don't you? That looks like this. Click on it, and I would appreciate it so, so, so much. And if you liked this video and would like to want... And if you want to watch more, or you want more content like this, yeah? Subscribe. It's the only way, honestly. There's no other way. If you don't want to miss an upload from me, click on the notification bell and you're done. Although you have to tickle something and say, yeah, you can do that later. Well, actually no, you can't do it later, you have to do it now. Unless you want to do it later. I don't know. Um, yeah. Then, um, if you want even more updates from me, follow me on Twitter. At the real ICOT. As it says on the screen right above me, somewhere. Or, or below me. Or left of me. Or right of me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But follow me on Twitter at the real ICLT. That's the only way you will get real updates from me. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Not sure when that will actually be, but yeah, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye everyone. And I hope you enjoy this microphone and my sound quality, my new sound quality. Hope you will like it. I hope it's not like disturbing or very, very weird. You'll probably get used to it maybe, I don't know. But yeah, I've had the Blue Yeti for like two years, two and a half years, and I'm already used to it. This one, not so much, but I'll get used to it, hopefully, somehow. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. I've already said that, for God's sake. Bye-bye, everybody! Happy New Year! Goodbye!